Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carla. I am the artist behind Ari Debrin Art. And today I want to talk to you guys about how to properly hang art in your home. I'll admit, <laughs> I've made some mistakes as far as how to hang art in my own home because I'm not an interior decorator, I'm just an artist, I create it. <laughs> I create the art, I don't necessarily know exactly how to hang it, but because I'm selling the art, it may be helpful to help those who purchase originals from me or even um, prints on how to properly hang them in their home so they can look the best in the space that you put them in. So I've done some research and I've come, I've discovered a couple of different tips. Um, some of them I knew already, some of them I didn't. So I'm going to present them here for you all. So tip number one, you want to make sure that you're hanging your art at least six to eight inches above whatever piece of furniture that you're going to be putting it over. So for instance, if you got if you've purchased a piece of original art and you want to put it in your living room above your sofa, you want to make sure that art piece is about six to eight inches above the sofa itself. And when you have it about six to eight inches from the piece of furniture, this allows for there to be some sort of like connection between the, the art piece and the furniture. Um, you have them both in that same space, you want them to feel connected and that they're not like completely obscure from each other. When you have that little bit of separation, um, it allows for a nice balance and a cohesive look in the room. All right, tip number two, your art should fill about two thirds the width of the piece of furniture that you're putting it over. So again, going back to the example with the sofa, you have it about six to eight inches above the sofa, but then you also have it about two thirds the width of the sofa. So you don't want the piece of art to be bigger than the sofa itself because it's gonna mess up the visual balance that you have going on there. It's gonna look kind of top heavy, um, but you, also you don't wanna put this little tiny piece of art above a really big sofa because that's gonna look weird too. So that two thirds is just the right size to put over a piece of furniture to where, again, you want that look to be cohesive in the room. All right, tip number three, you wanna make sure the center of your art piece is about 57 to 60 inches from the floor. So this really comes in handy when you have a piece of art on a wall, but it's not anchored by any furniture underneath it. You wanna make sure that that art is sitting about 57 to 60 inches from the floor. The center of it should be um, that length from the floor, that height from the floor. And this helps to make sure that the art is pretty much at eye level for the average person. Now, if you're short like me, then you may want to drop the art down an inch or two, whatever fits well for the people that are going to be looking at it in your household for, the most, of, for most of the time. But on average, 57 to 60 inches is what most um, people suggest the center of the art to be about 57 to 60 inches from the floor and it puts it at eye level for most people and that helps so that people aren't like straining to look at the art you're not having to look up too high to view it and it's not you're not awkwardly looking down on the piece of art on the on the wall either so it makes it perfectly uh eye level for most people in the world and then my last tip, tip number four, when you're pairing artwork, it should be about three to four inches um, of space between each piece of art. So let's say you have three or four pieces of art that you're wanting to pair together on a wall, kind of like a gallery wall, a wall, right? You want there to be about three to four inches between each piece so that they don't look too crammed together, but also keeping them about three to four inches apart allows them to all still work together without them looking too far apart and looking too separate from each other. I hope those quick tips will be helpful for you when you go to hang your new art piece in your home. I will link below um, some of the videos that I've watched or the blogs that I've read that help me to understand how to properly hang art in my home to help you guys out. 
and comment below if you guys have any additional tips on how you hang art in your home and what works for you. Now remember, these are just guidelines. Um, if they don't work for you in your home or if the piece doesn't look right, the typical standard way of hanging it, hang it the way it looks best in your house. It's your house. You got to look at it every day. So make sure you like the way it looks on the wall. If you don't like the way it looks, these standards and guidelines aren't going to be helpful for you. So make sure when you go to hang it, yes, you got these guidelines to help you, but make sure you're hanging it in a way that looks right for you the way you like it as well. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.